Well, good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. We're starting a new program this quarter, and we want you to come and join us. We're at the farm, can you tell? We're going to learn lots of wonderful things this quarter as we come to the farm and learn about how Jesus loves us and all that he gives us on the farm. But before then, we want to start with our morning exercises. So let's get our sticks out. Do you have your sticks or some wooden spoons you can hit with us? And let's sing our TikTok song. <laughs> Thank you for 
for this Sabbath school and the boys and girls that are either watching online or right here in our room. Will you please come and meet with us today? We thank you that you will do as you've said. Give us a good time in Sabbath school and help us to learn of you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Well, before we begin our program, I'd like to say good morning to everybody that might be viewing online. So let's see, who do I see out there today? Why, I see Elise and Aubrey. How are you girls doing? I hope things are good in Michigan. I see Easton. I see Reagan. And there's Everly and Jax. How are you guys doing? I see Becca. Hi, Becca. And I see Annie. And Finley, how are you guys? And Kim and her little sister, Loon Kim. I see Cheyenne. I'm missing you, Cheyenne. So good to see you. There's Oliver. Hi, Oliver. There's Brielle and Luke and probably Emily, too. I see Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Well, there's Drake and Marcy. Good to see you guys. There's Nathaniel and Andrew, some of my favorites. Good to see you, boys. I see Rose, and I see Rachel. Good morning, girls. I see Kaylee and Colton. Always good to see you guys. Why, there's Maverick and Maddox. So glad to see you. And River. Hi, River. I always enjoy seeing you on Sabbath. There's Titus, Ade, and Winston. Glad to see you guys. How are things in Montana? And there's Evelyn and Erica. Always a pleasure to see those girls. We miss you guys. There's Lily and there's Owen. So happy to see you this morning. And Gunnison is right here with us, though you can't see him. He's behind the camera, but he's with us today. And there's Kaylin and Colton. So glad to see you guys, all of you. We welcome you to Sabbath School. So happy you're here with us. Well, boys and girls, it's time for our memory verse just now. Do you remember the story that your mommies and daddies read to you this week? It was about Jesus and how many men? Do you know how many? How many is this? Ten. Ten sick men. Do you know what kind of sickness they had? Leprosy. Ooh, that's bad sores all over their bodies. But Jesus made them well again. And our memory verse says this, boys and girls. I'll say it and you say it after me, okay? It is good. It is good. To give thanks. To, to give thanks. To the Lord. To the Lord. Psalm 92. Psalm 92. Verse 1. Verse 1. Very good. It is good to give thanks to Jesus in everything, isn't it, boys and girls? I'm so glad to hear you learning your memory verse. Shall we sing our song about that now? Can we sing our memory verse song? I'm glad I
before the sun comes up, the farmer has to get up very early to go and start his farm chores. And when he gets up, the stars are still shining in the sky and the sun has not come up yet. So let's get our stars out. Would you like to hold a star, Gunnison? And Roman's got his star. And let's sing about the twinkling stars. This world is full of twinkling stars, twinkling stars, twinkling stars. The sky is full of twinkling stars. God made it so. God made it so. God made it so. The sky is full of twinkling stars. God made it so. Well, finally, as Farmer Brown finishes his chores, the sun is starting to come up. So let's get our sunshine mitts, or you can make your arms like a sunshine, and let's sing about the sunshine that Jesus gives us. Who can make the sunshine?
let's see what kinds of things we have in our garden. What do you see, Roman? Tomatoes. Let's not pick them quite yet. We have tomatoes. We have beans. We have onions. What's that down there? Cabbage. Cabbage and lettuce. What are these? Carrots. Carrots. Potatoes. Corn. corn. Yum. Gunnison likes corn. Squash. What is this? Asparagus. You like that one. And how about Cucumber. these? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. And what are these? Peppers. Peppers. And? Eggplant. Yummy. Good things to eat are growing in our garden. Let's pick our garden, shall we, this morning? Good things to eat. Down and gotten hurt? Like Roman? 
Yes, yeah, sometimes you fall off your bike. Have you ever gotten hurt, Annie? Yeah, I just got the leash and I just hit it right here. Oh, and that hurt, didn't it? Did you cry? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I know. Sometimes we get owies and that really hurts. So then mommy or daddy will put some medicine on it. Does it get better? Mm -hmm. Yes, it gets all better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, our story today, boys and girls, is about 10 men. How many men did we say? 10 men. 10. And these 10 men had a very bad sickness. Leprosy. It, it was called leprosy. And leprosy makes sores all over your body. But you know what the bad thing is? They never go away. They never feel better. They keep hurting and they just get worse and worse and worse all the time. And anybody that was around them was afraid. Do you know what they were afraid of? The leprosy. Yes, they said, if I go near that person, I'm going to get that leprosy too. And then I will have that sickness all the rest of my life. And they didn't want that, did they? And so everywhere those ten men went, do you know what they had to call? Mm -hmm. They had to call out like this, unclean, unclean. That meant that they were sick. Now right now, boys and girls, we are going through something called coronavirus. Have you heard that? Now, most of the people that get that disease will get well again. And they will but die. What, but what do we have to wear? Masks. We have to wear masks, don't we? We put on our mask and it's supposed to be over we're, the nose. we're not yelling unclean, unclean. But just the fact that we're wearing a mask says, oh, I don't want to get you sick. I don't want to get your sickness. And so we wear those. And there for a while, could we come to church? No. no. And in some places, they still can't go to church. Could we go to school? Now we can, but was there a time we couldn't? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We could not go to school. We could not go to church. We had to stay home most of the time, and many stores closed. Well, these men kind of had the same thing happen to them. They couldn't go to church. They couldn't go to the store. Why, they couldn't even live with their own families. And everywhere they went, they had to just yell, unclean, unclean, and people were afraid of them. Let's see. You can see our picture right here, can't you? You see our picture? Mm -hmm. These people were so sick, and they had sores on their face, and sores on their hands, and sores on their feet, sores everywhere. And they were very, very sad. Some people even said that these people could never go to heaven because they had that sickness. Was that true? No, that was not true. God loves everyone. And Jesus loved everyone. Jesus was the only one who wasn't afraid to touch them and say, I love you. Well, one day there was a city near the sick men. And one day the sick men heard that Jesus was going to go through the city. What do you think that the sick men thought? Oh, if only they could see Jesus. Wouldn't that be great? Mm -hmm. Yes, they thought maybe Jesus could make them well. Jesus came through the gate of the city. There were so many people crowding all around Jesus. The ten sick men were standing far, far away because they knew that the other people wouldn't want them near started to call, Jesus, Jesus, please come help us. Did Jesus hear them? Uh -huh. Yes, Jesus heard them. He stopped. He looked at the sick men, all ten of them, and oh, he loved them so much. He felt so very sorry for them, and he said to them, 
You men, go show yourselves to the priests or the ministers at the temple church. The ten sick men were sure Jesus was going to make them well. So what did they do? They turned around and they started running for the temple church. They obeyed Jesus. What do you think happened when they started running away? Did they get healed? Yes, they did. Their sores all went away. There wasn't one tiny sore left on their body. They were completely healed. Oh, how wonderful. They were so happy. Do I have one on my arm? Oh. Well, let's see what happened. Let's see if we can turn the picture and look at our story. Because we have several pictures here. Let's see. Leprosy. That, that's the same one. No, this, well, it's the same one that's on the other one. The men were so happy when they went down into the town. Yeah. And the, they showed themselves to the priest. Yeah. And the priest? Yes. The priest told them, you can go home, you're well. Please put your chair down. And so the men ran home to their families, and look, their families were so happy to have them home. They were eating with their families, talking with their families, laughing with their families. But one of those men, do you know what he did? He didn't go home. Do you know what he did? What did that one man do? That one man turned around and ran back to Jesus. And when he got to Jesus, he fell down on the ground and he said, Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. Jesus was happy that that one man had come back to say thank you to him. Jesus said, Well, here you are. You are one man. But where are the other nine men that I healed? Why didn't they come back and say thank you? What do you think? Was it right for those men to just go home? Or should they have come back and said thank you to Jesus? They should have come back and said thank you to Jesus. Because now they could go home. They could be with their families. They could go to church again. Let's see. Let's look at the picture of the one man. Can you see the one man right there? He is laying on the ground right here. And he's saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you for making me well. Now think, how many things does Jesus do for us every day? Does he do many things for us? Does he give you food to eat? A bed to sleep in. Mm -hmm. Parents to take care of you and grandparents mm -hmm. to love you. Mm -hmm. Does he give you schools to go to and churches to go to? Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. He gives us many things. Do you think Jesus is happy when we say thank you to him? Do you think he is mm -hmm. yes. But a tractor is not running. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> He is very happy when we say thank you to him. Let's see, what is one thing you want to say thank you to Jesus for, Annie? Well, what are you playing with? Are you thankful for your baby? <laughs> How about you, Roman? What is one thing you are thankful for today? Riding my bike. Oh, and you're riding your big bike today, weren't you? That's a great thing to say thank you to Jesus for. I love Jesus and I want to thank him. Do, don't you want to thank him too, boys and girls? Let's say our memory verse, shall we? Let's bring it up again. Let's see the great big picture and let's say it. I'll say it and you say it nice and loud, Annie. Are you going to say it with us? It is good. It is good. To give thanks. To give thanks. To the Lord. To the Lord. Psalm. Psalm. 92. Psalm 92. Verse 1. Verse 1. 
Oh, that is wonderful. And it is a good thing for us to give thanks to Jesus every day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Shall we say our prayer? Thank you, dear Jesus, that you love us so much. Thank you for all the wonderful things you do for us, for giving us life and health, for giving us moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas. Thank you for our food, our, the flowers we see, the birds, oh, so many things that you give to us. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. Amen. Well, boys and girls, I've had a great time with you today. We were going to sing our goodbye song now, and we will, we will see you next week. Can you sing our song with us while we wave? Our Sabbath school is over, and we are going to church. But while I need love, be always kind and true. Goodbye, goodbye, remember God loves you. Bye, boys and girls. See you next week. <laughs>